Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I have a very exciting purchase. Well, it's very exciting for me because I've been wanting this for so long. And from the title of the video, it is the Celine Luco Triumph Loafer. I was really into the whole chunky loafer look, but then I felt it wasn't really my style. The loafers that I was seeing that were super chunky were just too clunky for my taste. But Celine does make a chunkier loafer style. I'll link that one above. And I was deciding between that one or this one I felt this one would probably have a longer longevity it just seemed more elegant and classic so let's go ahead and open this up isn't she beautiful so I bought these loafers on the Celine website. The loafers retail for 950 US dollars plus tax. Free shipping. Shipping was about five to seven days, so it got here super quick. I haven't worn these out yet, but let me give you my first impression review. These are a size 36. I also got them in a size 36 and a half. I normally wear a six and a half in shoes. Between the two sizes, there wasn't too much of a difference, but I did feel that the 36 and a half was a tad bigger. I'm not sure if everyone's feet is like this, but usually your left foot is a tad big bigger in size than your right. When I tried on the 36, my left foot did feel a little bit tighter, but my right felt looser. So it felt a little bit odd. When I tried on the 36 and a half, I did feel that both heels were slipping out more. And my husband wears loafers to work pretty much almost every day. He doesn't like to wear shoes with laces just because he's too lazy and doesn't want to have to deal with tying them. So he wears loafers. He said, if you feel that the heel is coming out when you're wearing loafers, then it's just too big. Even if you put any sort of insert or anything, because that's what I was thinking. But he said, nope. Don't keep those because it's going to cause you issues in the future. So I'm, I got these socks from Target to wear with these loafers. They aren't too thick and they also aren't too thin. These are the loafers with the socks and they actually feel really good. Let's look at the slip situation. So it still comes out a bit here, but definitely does feel more secured for this right foot. For the left foot, Actually, it's not too bad, just a tiny bit tighter, but still feels okay. I do need to break the shoe for this foot. I feel it rubbing just a little bit. So I went with the 36. So let's get into the specs of these. So these loafers have the hand stitch details here. It's so beautiful. The heel has a 0.6 inch heel or 15 centimeters. It is hand stitched throughout. So beautiful. The leather is a polished calfskin, so it does have some shine to it, which I think is just beautiful. It's not too shiny and it's not too dull. I think it has the right amount of shine. And the front here has the beautiful Celine Triumph logo. I love that the logo is not too in your face. It stands out so beautifully. It's easily recognizable and it's not too gaudy. I feel this is just a very classic look. And look at all the stitching details here. It's so pretty, isn't it? If you guys are thinking about getting this loafer but are unsure of your size, let me go ahead and measure this for you so you can kind of get an idea. Let me do it by inches. So I'll go ahead and take the measurement from the heel to the very front tip. So the 36 measures nine and three quarters of an inch. I still have the 36 and a half with me just because I have 15 days to return it. So I'll go ahead and measure that one for you as well. So the 36 and a half measures 10 inches long. So then that means if you're going by half sizings is about a quarter of an inch difference. Let me go ahead and give you the side by side comparison. There is that much of a difference between the 36 and the 36 and a half, a quarter of an inch. 
to give you another size reference, I do have the Gucci Giordano loafers, which I wore to death. I do take good care of my shoes, so this is in pretty good shape. I also wear a 36 in these, so let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of these as well. So the sizing between the Celine and the Gucci is pretty much very similar. When looking at these side by side, the Gucci Giordana loafers does seem a little bit more narrow than the Celine ones. But when I tried the Celine loafers, it did feel a little bit more stiffer. And I think that's because of the type of leather. The Gucci ones are definitely more supple and soft. The leather on the Celine does seem more stiffer but I'm not sure if it will soften up in the future. I mean, I hope it does. But other than that, it's still very beautiful. I think I do need to break these in. I can definitely do another video with an update on how these wear. I will be taking these shoes to the shoe cobbler just to get the original soles protected. It's such an investment piece that I want to make sure that I try to take care of it the best I can. And also because these do feel like they are slippery. So I just want to get a better grip when I'm walking. So let me go ahead and show you how I would style these. Um, but I do take, do take, I do do, I do. 